Hey y'all, welcome back. This is Austin. I'm gonna walk you guys through the third gen Tacoma TRD Off-Road or TRD Pro brake bleed. We've got a different hydraulic master cylinder with the TRD Off-Road and the TRD Pro models, as well as many other Toyota and Lexus models. So this method also will apply to you. Items in white are required and items in blue are recommended. I would highly advise on gloves and brake cleaner and towels for this because the brake fluid does make a mess. Let's we'll start with the truck on a level surface. We're gonna set the parking brake. Before we begin, make sure your master cylinder looks like the one on the right. This is the hydraulic one. If it looks like the one on the left, follow the link in the description to the other video. All right, jumping right into it, we're gonna pull our cap off and we're gonna extract out any old brake fluid. There's actually kind of a ledge here, as you can see when you look down into your master. So what I'm doing is jamming the two between, there's a little slat right there, down in the bottom, closest to the hood of the car. So shove the little tube through there, down into the bottom of the reservoir so you can actually get all the old fluid out. I have this specific extractor linked in the description. It is super helpful for this style of master cylinder. So go ahead and pull out all the old fluid, as much as you can get out. Obviously you're not gonna get all of it. Now be very careful with brake fluid. It is highly corrosive, not great for your hands either. So I have a container here off to the left that I'm just dumping it all in. Here I've got fresh, newly opened DOT3 brake fluid. Make sure we top off that reservoir, get that all the way up to the full mark. We're gonna jump in and turn the key to the on position. We're going to depress the brake pedal until you hear this pump noise. Once you hear that pump noise, you know that the lines are getting pressurized. We're gonna jump to the back of the truck. Go ahead and pull off the dust boot cap and grab your brake bleeder attachment. Slide it over the bleeder itself. Make sure your hose is firmly attached over the bleeder. You don't want it to pop off. So grab your 10 millimeter wrench. We're gonna crack that bleeder open. As soon as that bleeder opens, the ABS pump is going to kick on. It's gonna start forcing fluid out of this rear brake line. You'll notice that this does fill up pretty quick. So make sure that you do not run that reservoir dry. So open it, let some fluid out, and then close it back up. Make sure you refill your master and then perform this as many times as you feel necessary. Two to three times is plenty. Go ahead and remove your nipple from the brake bleeder and then Make sure you don't spill your brake fluid. Make sure your master is full again, so top it off. And you're gonna repeat this for the other side of the rear. Once complete, go ahead and give this a little clean off, wipe up any brake fluid. Obviously, like I said, it's corrosive, so make sure you get any of that off that you spilled. And then, like I said, repeat for the other side. Once again, make sure that brake fluid is topped off. For the fronts on this truck, with this hydraulic master, it is a standard brake bleed. Let's go ahead and climb under the front, pull off your dust boot cap, and go ahead and get your nipple hooked up to the brake bleeder. Once that is secure, we will go ahead and crack open our bleeder screw. Now with the fronts, the hydraulic master will not run when you have this bleeder open like it does in the rear. So we're gonna go ahead and pump the brakes to move that fluid through. So you can see here, I'm pumping the pedal 10 to 15 times. Let's speed this up a little bit. You don't move as much fluid as the ABS pump does on the rear. So obviously this one might take a little bit longer. If you're doing this one by yourself, I'm using a pry bar, but just go ahead and cycle it down and hold it in the down position. Now you can close that bleeder. Obviously check your master cylinder level as well. We don't want that dropping and top off as needed. Go ahead and repeat this cycle three to four times to get some fluid moved through the front calipers. So same thing, pumping the brakes to move the fluid, holding it down in the down position, and then we're gonna close that system up for the last time here. Once you've sufficiently gotten enough brake fluid through, go ahead and remove the nipple from the bleeder you obviously want to repeat this on the other side. I'm just showing the driver's side here. And then reinstall the dust boot cap. Top off your brake fluid, make sure it's at the full mark, and you're good to go. 
Really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Obviously the TRD Off-Road and TRD Pro have this hydraulic electric master cylinder that does complicate things a little bit further. Hopefully this did help show you that it isn't all that complicated to do. Just remember, keep that master full. If you guys want to join the Discord, win some free stuff, chat with Tyler and I, feel free. If not, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.